times. In China, I mostly just learn what te teachers told me and I just absorb what they teach me. You listen to what teachers say, you do what teacher asks you to do. You basically have, you know, very little chance to express your own opinion. They only have one final goal, is the Gaokao, which is the college entrance examination in China. And it's not like the case in American schools, like you can take SAT for several times and choose your best one and turn it into the college administration. The um, so in China, you will only have to do the Gaokao, like the college entr entrance examination well, and then your life will be like just set. So um, we need to memorize a lot in the um, Chinese education system. Like for Chinese, we need to memorize poetry, poetry because that will be part of the test. And um, for English, we need to memorize a lot of vocabularies because that's part of the test too. And um, for science, there's a lot of definition of terms, and like we almost just memorize a lot of things. The whole Chinese education is pretty much test oriented. Little stuff, like you have a grade, and the grade tells all. If you fail, you fail. You know, you don't. Everything's based on a number. It's life, literally life. Uh, the test score basically means everything to me because I was in a very high ranking, uh, high ranked uh, high school. So the study environment is very competitive. That's most uh, most the pressure come from. So after every test we have, the teacher will um, like give us a rank report in my class and in my whole and in the whole grade. Ranking as a very important thing. So in most Chinese high school, they'll make an order based on your test scores. So you can see the uh, who's the first, who's the second, who's the third, and who's the last. So rank changed. Um, you will feel disappointed, and the teacher will be kind of mad at you and give you a pressure to study harder. Because of the single uh, child policy, parents basically put all their hopes on child. They expect their children to reach their goals and achieve their dreams. The pressure has come from my family. You know, my family always talking about my future. What do you want to do in the future? And if you can't get a certain degree of education from college, you can't get that kind of job. So it just trades back to uh, high school and middle school. You know, they always tell me have to quit working and uh, uh, work hard to uh, pursue what I want. So both me and my family agree that, you know, U.S. can provide better quality education. I think I can discuss, I, we are all allowed to discuss about problems and put our own thoughts into the work that we did. And in China, we don't really have time to do the things we want because we study in school all day. So basically, we don't have much music and art classes and we don't really do sports. But here, we actually get time to do it. So that's very nice. Better, so, you know, they don't really look at the, just say, only SAT or uh, ACT score. They look at a person as a, you know, a whole. So I think it's more fair. I believe if I graduate from a university in America, I will, I know, to a certain degree, have a greater chance to get a better job in China, both like in China or 